Well, yeah. I mean, now's you, the time. You dive right into my situation yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, at the time, it was rough. Yeah. I hated you. But did I go? I mean, we, we, you obviously had like a, a rough interview, right? Yeah. And there was a reason I was pressing. There, it was kind of like an issue that we needed to get to the heart yeah. of. But I think with you, I've been, you know, I've, I, I have a lot of empathy for you. I liked you as a person. And that's why we're here today. Yeah. I saw that and in so, I, I, yeah. I under, I can understand from your perspective, it was probably a painful and difficult to deal with, like the receiving end of that much. Well, negativity. I willingly came on the show because I felt I had nothing to hide. I was mm -hmm. not ashamed of anything. Yeah. And I said, what's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. Was I in the right state of mind at the time? No. Yeah. I had, you know, I was in and out of surgery on meds. And it's, you're asking me about a situation three years ago, now five. I don't remember what I said about Dan or AB on, you know. So yeah, I wasn't prepared for that type of thing. And I felt like I was the kid in making a murderer, you know? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Good, yeah, yeah. And I tried to talk to you about it afterwards and there was no door for us to even have that conversation. Yeah, well, I, I, at that point, I wasn't really sure what, to, I don't think it was unfair though, necessarily. Because on one hand, I appreciated that you were willing to like come on the show mm -hmm. and put yourself out there. I mean, no one else would do that. And so I believe that you earnestly, uh, at this you point, honestly- You showed me a picture that I was at a party. Yeah. And that was the hard hitting, okay, Ethan, you know, yeah, 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 done, yeah, yeah. judge, fucking, you know. So, yeah, I was, I was hurt at that time. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you, you were going after something bigger. And I was dealing with something that I hadn't even, I was covering up. You know, I hadn't said anything to anybody. Mm -hmm. Right, that's Second true. Second Trisha started going, talking about that. I had just got so nervous that that was going to come out because that's my whole life. It's the most right. embarrassing moment of my life. Mm -hmm. And now I was going to let the internet control the narrative. I wasn't going to have a say in my story. So that's why I, I was... We, we never brought it up, though, before you, did we? She did on the show, yeah. She did bring it up? Mm -hmm. The first time I ever heard about it was from her. Mm -hmm. And uh, it kind of blew my mind when I found out about like the whole David and the excavator thing. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm happy that came out. Because if I bottled that up inside forever, I'd... In living in hell so know. thanks to trisha maybe. Maybe, maybe thank you to trisha. for my situation i don't regret anything <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> okay jeff my bestie official bestie <laughs> thanks for having me thanks bro nice to meet you by the way Very how nice. tall are you six one six six two because you guys seem like the same height no mike's he's taller. taller yeah yeah, I'm a little taller. yeah. um is that it that's yeah. so right. cool, man. <laughs> Spin the crank, dude. <laughs> so the obvious one, first off, you know, is the is the frenemies incident. Yeah, okay. which we touched on a little bit. You want to mm -hmm. you want to unpack that more? Uh, there weren't any revelations I've had recently. New memories came. Uh, actually, yeah, there was. I looked up everything because I was like, I gotta fucking debunk this. You know, mm. I was in a parade that day. I don't remember. I'm not, I don't know what this has to do with anything. Go ahead. No, I just what found videos. You were at a parade? I, was at, I had, yeah, because you guys were asking me about the day, like what happened. And I, I was just like, I don't fucking know. It's yeah, three years yeah, ago, yeah, you know, yeah. I went to a party with a bunch of guys. I think I was initiated into that crew a couple of vlogs before that, you know, so. Oh, okay. Um, But yeah, everything still the same. I don't know what you really want to change about that, except, you know, I was accused of things that I didn't. And that's why I came on the show. That's why I wanted to come on the show because absolutely not have I ever done any of the stuff that you guys were. Like, the main accusation up. being that you you provided alcohol. Yeah. For the girls who were not twenty one. Mm -hmm. Or and also they were taken advantage of. But obviously, first of all, I believe you by didn't Dom, have anything by, to, by Dom. Yeah, by Dom. I don't think you had anything to do with that. I don't think you knew what was going on. Our shots of us in the vlog were inserted after. That's what I learned that there were shots of you guys peeking in the room. Even the poor kid, Al like Alex had fucking just lived there. And then he was just thrown in like a reaction shot of like, I don't know what he was doing. But oh, yeah. Smelling of, but, Cause it was kind of fucked because everyone peeking a, in there looked, it just looked so bad. Horrible. Yeah. Like horrible. even though you weren't there, like the, the message of it was like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. It, horrible. For you guys who don't know, there was, you got, I'm sure you guys know about the situation, but. Uh, when Dom, like, 
apparently essayed this girl and then there, there was clips in that episode of everyone peeking in the room mm -hmm. while they were intimate and being like yo they're hot yo what the fuck and so it was like yeah yeah those were just superimposed in like they were added in after or? yeah like got joe bricks vlogs have always been kind of a splice of random got clips. it got it and the reason i believe he has that, a vision for how he wants things to look yeah and yeah the reason i believe you when you say that is because the end is definitely shot on a different day when yeah. Dom is like, uh, the girls said that too. I wasn't there for that, but yeah. Yeah, when Dom was like all sweaty, he's like, yo, I had a threesome or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I never do content like that. I never did. I was never into sexual stuff, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, and to get basically like, that's like a me too type, not, no, actually no, it's, it's something completely different. It's an assault and there's a real victim. And for me to be tied into that, you know, it hurt. It hurt for a while. I mean, it still does. I'll still get comments from the, the foot uh, soldiers and stuff like that. <laughs> and yeah. By the way, that's hurts. an ironic reference. I just want even though people to I, know that. I even really, though I, you yeah. know, I, I didn't do what they said I did, it still hurts. Well, so the pro the pro I think the problem was that the article was written and specifically named you, right? Yeah. And so that's kind of what we were going off of. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, now that some time has passed, and I've got to know you a little bit more, you know, I, I, I the thing is, I, I do believe you because and to be honest, there was by their account too, there was already a bunch of alcohol there. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was always some big bottle of Jack Daniels or something in and, Dom's house. And, and, and I didn't want to, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you didn't do anything. Right. So so I don't think it's your cross to bear like a ton of guilt or embarrassment or disassociation forever. I think it's fucked up, you know, how people hold shit over people's heads forever. This was a horrific crime actually that happened, but you didn't do it. You know what I mean? And and so I get that that it's been very painful for you. Of course, I apologize for all the messages I've sent you afterwards. Yeah. Because I was very upset about that. I mean, something like that's horrible. I don't have any... I mean, I, I've been a public figure for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've never had anybody ever say that I did something wrong, like a woman say I did something wrong to mm -hmm, them, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, that hurt. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate, uh, you know, you doing this and clearing that up because it, it was something that I felt would follow me forever, no matter what, because there's no yeah. way to prove it wrong. It's just, he said, she said. You know, I can't go I mean, back in time. Even if, let's say, even if you did buy the alcohol, it's like, you I may didn't. not have. I did Right, right. Yeah. Right. I believe you. But I'm saying, even if you did, if there's people out there that say, well, he maybe he, I don't believe him. It's like, even if you did buy the alcohol, you may not have known their age, or let's say, you, hypothetically, you may not have known their age. And at the end of the day, you know, it was Dom's decision and David's decision to shoot that video. And like, you know, it's just, you, people should be able to, to move on from shit, you know, Dom, fuck him, right? And David, fuck, fuck him. him. I, yeah, but I'm saying him. I've, you yeah, know, I you didn't I do anything. Him, you know, I mean, I wouldn't share an ambulance with him. He'd be going by himself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Dom, there's only one ambulance. Don't make one bed. Right okay, we're sorry. on a serious topic. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, it's Hailed fine. fine. Hailed I appreciate me. it. Uh, yeah, is that it? Squash the beef. You guys. No, there's more. The there's wall. more. No, there's more. Like this one, this feels like some major fucking shit, bro. Well, like yeah, you guys are like, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. No, it, I mean, that's a horrible thing to have tied to your name. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I just want to say like in the report, you know, they specifically named you. Right. So that's, I called that reporter. And I, and I, I yeah, I remember yeah, I was upset was about that thing. too. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I, I went after everybody that was spreading lies about me. And I know you didn't know me at the time you were going off of you know, your other counterpart at the yeah, time. Yeah. And whatever, you know, like I said, everything made me reevaluate my life and I needed to at the time. Mm. You know, otherwise I might be in a much darker place right now. Mm. So I don't regret anything. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And then there's the thing where like your body came to my house twice. I can't get he's a grown man. <laughs>